Hey there Pisces, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot. We are looking at the Dark Mansion Tarot. This is one that I have a double deck of. If we need to go into it a little further, we might. So we're going to crack this open. It's one of my favorites. It's very Tim Burton-esque. And we're going to take a look at what's going on currently. So we're going to see what's going on for you currently. Um, see what might be coming up for the next week to 10 days. This is for Pisces as a collective. It's a general read. And we're going to see what's going on mid-April, week to 10 days. Also, if you're a cross-watcher or checking into your sun or, or excuse me, your moon or your rising sign, that's great too. And check those out too on your other signs if you feel like it. All right. We'll take a look. One more good shuffle of these and I think we'll be ready to go. I'm not one that likes to shuffle ridiculous amounts of times. I like to get right to it. So, basic energy going on. Okay. All right. The basic energy you're in and experiencing. The Page of Cups, this is offering love, surprises, but um, in kind of small ways, um, young ways. Sometimes there's just little surprises. It's, it's sometimes the little gifts that just totally delight our hearts. Those kinds of things. Things are being offered that are, are little hello, I love you type things being offered, little surprises, okay? And then you have this Five of Wands. There's also competitiveness, strife, conflict, a lot of energy not on the same purpose, kind of at cross purposes, not really looking and seeing what's going on, just kind of almost spoiling for a fight, but not really a serious fight, not really even knowing why, but that's kind of what we're experiencing in your energy right now. All right, so let's see what's going on. Whoa, hello, in the week coming up, the Knight of Cups. Okay. So the Knight of Cups, this Page of Cups is moving forward into the Knight of Cups, really taking more action to show love, not just offering little things, but acting on it, ready to move forward. Now, this one sometimes promises bigger than he can deliver. So be patient with that aspect. If this is you and your aspect, mind your words, offer what you are able to deliver and don't over promise or over offer on anything. Let's see. Ooh. Ace of Cups and the Stark Guys. This is all about new loving energy, new stars, big love, and big healing going on. Um, second chances, what you've wished for, what you've dreamed for, and taking time to heal. Um, this is a good time to be hopeful. This is all about the essence of love, the lessons it brings, the joy it brings, the happiness. And this is very, very healing. Also suggests rest, taking time to be still, rest, and lean into your intuition. All right. So that's what we that's your challenge for this week. This coming up week to 10 days. This is the beginning parts of that. So let's see what else is going on. Whoa. Okay, that's way too many guys. Too thick. Way too many. Usually if it's six or less, then I might take it, but that was a chunk. Okay, hey, still some fiery energy that you're contending with. Okay. We're going to flip these because there are so many of them reversed. It's probably I just turned the cards. So, this is the sequence they came out in. So, the Nine of Wands is just taking a last stand, standing strong. Um, it's the soldier holding the fort. It really is. It's holding position, but also sometimes creating a wall. In reverse, perhaps you've been taking that stance too long and defensive too long. So be aware. What are you standing for? Why are you holding the fort? What's the value there? You may have forgotten what it is you're fighting for or why you're fighting. Okay? Eight of Wands. Incoming messages. Could be text. Could be email. Could be like old school mail. But lots of incoming information at you. Lots of new energy headed your direction. Look for messages, look for new opportunities, new things that inspire you. They're coming your way. Ace of Pentacles. This is gifts of the material sort. Gifts of money can be it. Also resources of time, friendship, opportunities to grow, that kind of thing. This is um, the 3D, the material, that kind of opportunity to look for. Things are being presented. When you see the aces, this is gifts from the divine, gifts from the universe for you to take advantage of now. And also when I see these, it's kind of like a reminder to use it or lose it. I think of like coupons and stuff. If something's being offered at its most essential base, 
whether it's material gain because of acts of love or just love and emotion all itself, those kinds of things, they're offered now. Don't forget to look and actually see them, all right? Then you have the King and Queen of Wands presenting. King and Queen of Wands are kind of tricky. Um, they both have pretty strong egos and get stubborn and stuck in their own kind of energy sometime. King of Wands is very good at promoting, very good at inspiring, leading people, and having them move forward with him. The trick on him is sometimes he's not good at seeing another person's point of view. So if his ego is in the way, then he's really only seeing his point of view. So that's the caution on his. But what he is good at is getting this collective group, getting this collective energy, gathering it together, and creating that inspiration and that drive, and getting it driving forward, and then establishing something with that with that passion okay queen of wands same kind of energy as the wands but as the queen she's more approachable she's more friendly um she's definitely more nurturing this is more of the feminine representation she pays attention more to the inward she isn't quite as pushy um she can be a little bit um self-absorbed if she's in reverse um not so much ego, ego, but just kind of lost in her own kind of way of thinking. Upright, she can see what's going on and she will include people and kind of she's the one that helps the party come together, but she doesn't mind being the star of the show either. So these are the energies here. The justice is here. This is a karmic lesson for these aspects of yourself or aspects of these people. This big time lesson. It's the karmic lesson, it's the legal, and it's the balancing of the scales. It's the growth that comes when things are evenly balanced. There's justice, there's fairness. There is the ability to proceed, to proceed well. All right, let's see what else is going on. You know what? We're going we're gonna to take out my second deck of this and just see, whoa, if there's anything else that resonates or hits home. So my second deck, I marked up the back so I could tell the difference so they wouldn't get intermingled. So fun extra color, extra dreaminess is my own doing. Whoa. Okay, that is too big of a chunk. There we go. There we have it. There we have it. There we have it. Okay, guys. Okay. All right. So, lesson here. Queen of Swords is coming in. She gets a bad rap. She's perceived as harsh and cold and bitchy. And really, she's trying to be logic. She's trying to apply logic and reason instead of just inspiration, inspiration, I want, I want, I want, ambition, ambition, ambition. She's trying to apply reason to the thing, to the matter. And she's trying to have truth in her communication and communicate well. In reverse, she might come off as harsh. So understand that. Understand that. Here's this sort of truth. Here's the sort of truth. It's all about the communication. There's a choice that needs to be made. There's deliberation going on. She can't see it very clearly. She needs to make a choice. She needs to move whatever it is out of the way so she can get more clear and make that choice to move forward. And then, what do you have coming in? This wand energy again. And here's the couple here. This is the happy family event. It could be birth. It could be wedding. It could be graduation, celebration. It could be the 11-11, the perfect pairing, perfect partnering, and perfect balance for this kind of thing. So these are the underlying influences, the advice, and the energy at play. So that is what I've got for you right now. Let me know how it resonates. Leave me a comment. Like, subscribe, tell a friend. Come see me again. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.